okay so it's night time and we are now in day mode i'll start recording now on the device as well and uh, i can show you the red laser right now so you see the dot approximately in the middle of the screen i can see it also with naked eye okay and if we turn on the laser we see only the box but not the laser itself but it is uh, measuring the distance i have it in yards now as you can see okay let's turn it off now let's go to night mode okay now we are in night mode without any illumination uh, we can see that there is some slight light on that hill from somewhere which wasn't vis visible in the day mode but it is visible in the night mode uh, and uh, again I will show you the laser so this is the red laser see it it's really bright in this mode and now I will turn on so I turn off the laser but now I will turn on the measuring so now you can see the laser rangefinder flashing because it's measuring the distance okay as you can see it have it in yards now Okay, I will turn the laser now off and let's start with some illumination. So this is the minimum, but let's go first to fully wide uh, angle of the laser, oh, of the illuminator, sorry. So this is the narrow and this is the wide. So this is the fully wide. And if we toggle through the brightness setting, so this is level two, three, four, five six seven and eight this is really bright now we can zoom in and still have a really detailed image considering it's a digital zoom let's not just a little bit higher so we see the tree like that so if we go to max zoom So 20, now let's zoom out, okay fully out, and now let's zoom in the laser, sorry I keep telling it laser, it's actually IR illumination, so this is the very narrow beam that it has, this is really high density. okay so now let's try to do some measurements as we did before so if i remember correctly we have here okay so let's uh, dial the laser a bit uh, down so let's go to minimum and let's turn on the range finder so we can see that it's measuring the range it's not visible now because the laser, the <laughs> again, the IR illumination is too bright. So let's go further. This should be somewhere the house. Yeah, this is the house. But definitely the house is too far to be reached with the camera. We can try it actually. So. We are measuring it, so let's boost up the laser. Yeah, we see the house very vaguely. By the way, the box for the laser is not calibrated. So that is why right now you cannot, that was the red laser by the way, this is the red laser on that house. Uh, that is why the box is not in the same place as the laser is, as the laser range finder. But yeah, we can see the house and we're still not at maximum illumination. Let's go higher. Let's go to 8 and try, now try to zoom in. Of course, one thing you have to know uh, when it comes to illumination, as soon as you have anything in the atmosphere such as uh, 
haze or fog or anything like that the um, higher illumination any kind of illumination is really bad because you're illuminating that fog or that dirt in the atmosphere so it doesn't really help you the fact that you have uh, really really high intensity by the way I turn on before by accident the picture-in-picture uh, -picture mode which is a really good cool feature as well right now you can see that we can see the house in that small box which is zoomed in so this is kind of punched in the middle of the screen so let's start arranging it and we can move around you can see how the picture-in-picture -picture looks by the way we were not really focused appropriately for that house so let's do this now because we were focused for this hill it does look quite good still let's try this is too much let's try to have it better if it's possible oh, this is worse yeah I think it was quite optimal before already anyway that's it for the night mode as you can see the buttons are illuminated which is really nice so the house is 213 meters i have it in meters of course because i i'm from europe and i use metric system so this is the first level second third fourth fifth sixth seventh and eight so with eight at 200 meters it's more than enough even at the widest angle and i will try to do this with one hand i apologize for shaking the image because i'm holding the phone behind the device itself so i will now uh, try to change the beam size as you can see i'm making it smaller and smaller and now it's way too bright already so this is a cool example of using um, option to uh, adjust the beam so right now I don't see anything there in the darkness because I'm overexposed over here close by but if I narrow the beam I get the background the image is really excellent five six seven eight nine so in this you can really really see everything bright of course we're not far but still maybe we can see some animals here yeah they have some deers here I believe yeah, we will go from the other side and check it out yeah, it's a sheep. Thank you guys for watching if you are considering of purchasing this product please use my link below uh, make sure you leave the thumbs up and uh, subscribe and also hit that bell button to be notified of my next video thank you